Hey everyone, welcome to this No Prep Monday. My name is RH and this is my journey. I was actually going through Pinterest and there was this one, uh, it's called a Mexican soup. I'm gonna try to show you. I don't wanna spill any on it. So it's kinda how it looks. Ooh, it's so good. It smells good too. Um, so don't forget to hit the little bell at the top, ding, 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 ding. Like and subscribe. And if you enjoy this video, comment. I appreciate it. Much love. This was a crock pot meal. I pretty much threw everything in the crock pot for four hours on high. And that was the end. I didn't have to do a whole lot of, lot of stuff. Mm. Damn, it's warm. It made me squint my eyes, you know, like I can't see. That's how warm that is. It ain't hot, but I think it was hot. I had to close my eyes. I didn't have to be like, it's hot, it's burning, it's like, I had to close my eyes, but it would just made me squint. So good. I'm not a spice person. I can do all kind of spicy things. Matter of fact, I don't prefer spicy things at all. But I am stepping outside my comfort zone. This right here is spicy. Um, it calls for two cans of enchilada sauce, and it also calls for um, taco seasoning. Girl, spicy. Well, I'm able to handle it pretty well. That first time I ate it, I was like, what? Hold up, what's about to happen? You know, cause I am an older woman. And my insides are delicate, so we don't need to be burning them up. But I was able to make it through, and now I'm, I'm all right. I'm all right, for this video at least. It will be a while before I do this again, because sauce too. I'm not really a big person that's like, huge on red sauce, like. Every time I consume stuff like that, I go to sleep, and then when I wake up, I'm standing at the bridge, the crossover bridge to go into the afterlife, the underwear, and I'm like, did that red sauce really just bring me to the bridge? So now I'm standing at the bridge praying, oh my goodness, please, please don't let this red sauce take me over this bridge. You know what I'm saying? I got family, my son, I got people that they need me. So I can tell them. Had anybody seen the um, uh, Disney Plus released at Helmerson? Oh my goodness. It is, oh my goodness, my favorite. Well, I don't know, well, that's just, um, it's in my top four musicals. Cause I have to say Rent is my favorite Broadway. Even though I've never physically seen it on Broadway, I would have to say Rent is number one. I would have to say um, Lion King is number two. And then I would say uh, Hamilton is number three. Hamilton actually knocked Wicked to number four. That's how good Hamilton is. And I've watched it like three times. It was such a good movie. And so I went into Disney Plus. Um, I watched, um, Like, you know how like they interview like the director, the person that made the movie. Um, it took him about five years, five or seven years to actually write Hamilton. And it's about, you know, Secretary of State. Uh, no, I think Ham Hamilton was treasurer, treasury. He was in the treasury department. Um, 
So when I went over to watch um, the interview, you know, the different cast members, um, of course, we're in a time of unrest because of George Floyd and what happened to him and other African-American men and women and um, just the whole movement, Black Lives Matter, different things like that. So, you know, a lot of statues and different things are being torn down or people want them to be torn down. And, you know, and then they kind of went over a little bit the history of Hamilton and, you know, I was like, tear it all down. Like, tear it all down to the ground. The monuments, different things. But then, then I watched Hamilton and this musical just really, like, captivated me. And then something like, this light bulb kind of like went off in my head. And I was like, we, we shouldn't necessarily take down monuments and stuff. It was just like, boom. Those men back then, that was their world. They didn't know different, right? There's no justification. In that society, in that time period, that wasn't savage to them. That was everyday normal life to them. Just like right now, we live in this society and there's things that are just a part of our culture. And that's it. Watching Hamilton, I just had this just epiphany that even though they didn't set this world up for me, it still benefits me. So I'm able to be where I'm at, where I'm at at this part, present time, um, because people that didn't necessarily fight for me, what they accomplished benefits me. And I don't want to tear that down. Because um, at the end of the day, we shouldn't try to destroy our history we should try to learn from our history. And as we go forward, as we go into a new history, we know what not to do. We be better than them. We don't try to eradicate them or erase them. We, we keep them because we need to be able to see this is what not to do. Right? We need the Constitution. We need the different declarations of independence because what it does is it sets up a better future for us as black people, as Spanish people. Um, it, it's a government system that is set in place to, to, to protect our freedoms. So we don't want to destroy the people that gave that to us. Even though in their mind, they... I'm pretty sure Hamilton would have never thought that an African-American woman would be sitting here, you know, getting ready to do her day, chill, whatever, videotaping. I'm pretty sure he didn't think that that would ever be a possibility, but I benefit from his ignorance, right? And I benefit, that ignorance gives me a platform to set up a new world for my son and for my grandchildren and so forth and so on. So I just think that sometimes we have to step back and not say that we need to eradicate the past. We need to keep the past so that we can learn from the past to make a, a better future for ourselves and a better future for our descendants. And I think that's very important. And I'm so glad I watched Hamilton. Um, I'm so glad I was exposed to that musical because it has inspired me. Um, it has inspired my writing. It just has inspired me um, to know that 
I can look back and all of the elements of my of our future that I just my heart is so sad for those individuals that had to go through that. And that was a hard world for them. But they were strong and they made it through. And because they made it through, I'm able to sit here. And it makes me stronger that going forward, I know that I will continue to fight for a world that will not treat individuals like they were treated back in that world. And that are treated in this world too. We are going to have a better world because we're gonna, we're, we're gonna fight for it and we're gonna be better and stronger for it. And um, so I just definitely recommend anybody, I mean, it's uh, very hip, very hip. Listen, I love the music. I mean, think about it. They were able to use a multicultural, a lot of African-American people black American individuals to play in these roles and you can still connect to the story. I mean, that is, it was just so amazing to me. And as they were telling the story, it wasn't about them being a black man or a black woman or a Spanish woman. It was about the story and I could see the story and I can understand and I was able to get a very, a history lesson. I do my, I'm pretty sure everything in the musical wasn't accurate history, but I was able to receive that and get that and understand it because they were speaking my language. And I just found that to be phenomenal. Not Let's not tear our history down. Let's, let's start building a new world and speaking our own language. That was given to us, unfortunately, in all of its bad and some good from them, right? We're able to tell our stories and be who we are today even in still the brokenness of our society, we're still able to be to a specific level because of the foundations that were set up for other people. We were able to circle that thing around and now benefit from it. So I admonish everyone that's watching this video like, let's start thinking not about tearing down our future. Our, I'm sorry, let's start thinking about not tearing down our past, but let's really focus on building a new future. Right, right, and all of those naysayers and all of those, oh, black lives don't matter. Don't pay attention to them because they don't be who they are. That's already programmed in their heart and their mind and their spirit, so we just ignore them. We just ignore them, we put them to the side and we say, you know, your mouth ain't right. Your mind ain't right. So we gonna put you to the, we gonna ignore you, right? And we gonna keep it moving. We gonna keep it moving. So guys, I gotta go. This has been such a good meal prep. Like always, I always leave the recipe down in the link below. Don't forget, hit the little bell, bing, 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 um, and you'll get notifications every Monday when I post my video. Like and subscribe, and definitely comment, and um, try it. I think that it's a really good hearty soup. It's something that when you eat it, you're, you're gonna be full. It's gonna fill you up, and it's gonna fill you up for like a minute. Like you're not gonna be hungry and like, 30 minutes. So guys, again, I appreciate every single one of you coming and supporting me. Have a wonderful week. Know your why. And like always, <coughs> don't sneeze. And like always, blossom in your desert. Be blessed. Bye.